Beware the stare of Mary Shaw. She had no children, only dolls. And if you see her in your dreams, make sure you never. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I am looking a little bit strange today. I am doing my Spooktober challenge, which you can find on my Instagram and Facebook, which is Paige Doddington. Um, I'm just basically doing a Halloween makeup look every day. Um, I would have another contact lens in my eye, but I can't see shit with both of them in. It's very, very hazy, so... Um, yeah, that is why I look like I do. Um, today I am doing a tag that I was tagged by the lovely Moose Ham. Link below. Make sure that you go and check her out. She is very, very lovely and a great YouTuber. Um, and this tag is called the Horror Movie Tag. There's 10 questions. So I'm going to get right in because I love horror films. So, first horror movie you watched. That's a really, really hard one because I remember watching snippets of Night of the Living Dead, um, Evil Dead, because I remember that little woman like coming out of the little latch. Um, there's also, I remember the ex, I always remembered the exorcist when she pees on the floor and that horrific scene that involves a cross. Um, yeah, I think it must have been one of those or possibly Alien because my dad's a big fan of Alien. And I remember Alien as well. I remember Alien 3, the one with the dog. That, no spoilers. Um, but yeah, it, it would have been either The Exorcist, Alien 3, Night of the Living Dead, or Evil Dead. I'm not entirely sure. But my favorite out of all of them is Evil Dead. What's the movie that made you fall in love with the horror genre? Ooh. <sighs> I don't really know, to be honest. I remember the first ever horror film I bought and I was underage. It was in Woolworths and it was great. Um, and it was like five pounds and it was The Ring. And I went through a stage where I was absolutely obsessed with that film. Um, and when number two came out, I went crazy. Um, and I dressed as Samara and everything. Um, maybe it was The Ring. That was the first ever horror film I bought. Um, and I was so excited about Rings. And I was majorly disappointed. Um, but yeah, it, probably The Ring maybe made me venture into more of the unknown. Favourite horror sub-genre? She's put Sasha Psychological, Thriller, Splatter, Torture, Found Footage, Supernatural, etc. Um, mine has got to be Supernatural and Psychological. Um, I love, like, films that make you, make you have to think about what's going on. I do love a jump scare as well, but I do like the ones that make you think. Um, and I absolutely love supernatural ones. I absolutely love um, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Um, my mind has gone blank like my eye has. <laughs> um, yeah, I like ghosty films. That does not include Paranormal Activity and all of them. I absolutely hate those films. But I think the first like paranormal ghosty film that I watched was a film called Haunted. And it has Kate Beckinsale in it. And it's a very 
it's a weird film but it's so good and I don't think many people actually know about it so if you haven't seen it I definitely recommend it um, and another one was, was The Others and I know that's not really horror but it is psychological and paranormal um, yeah so it's probably those at the top of my head I can't really think of my favourites my my mind has literally gone blank but I like possession films as well like um, is it Devil and I Devil Inside I can't my mind has gone blank today it's because I've been focusing on my makeup <laughs> but yeah paranormal and psychological are my favourites a horror movie that scared you so much that you couldn't sleep I'm not going to lie, there is a film that I cannot stand and it makes no sense because it is just like The Ring, but The Grudge. I was probably about 12 when I saw a snippet of The Grudge and it was on the horror movie channel, the lights were all off, I think my dad had gone upstairs to the toilet or something and there's me like left with my little blanket like, hmm, what's this then? And it scared the crap out of me. Um, it was the bit where she's laying on the bed and she opened and her face is there. And it terrified me. And I still don't like looking at the cover of it. Um, like the front cover of the DVD. It just freaks me the hell out. Um, I'm not ashamed of that either. I was only 12. Um, and yeah, going to bed that night. I crapped myself. So The Grudge. Whoever made The Grudge. And I will not watch the Japanese version. Hell no. No way. What horror movies do you think are overrated? And People are probably not going to like me for this. But I hate the Saw series. Don't like them. I don't mind gore. But I just don't like Saw. Um, I'm not into Hostel, any of those sort of films. Um, oh, what's the other one? The one with the hillbillies. Wrong turn. Can't stand them. I'm just, I'm not into cannibal movies and um, like really gory horrors like Saw. They, they, I just don't like them. They, they're not my cup of tea. Who is your favourite movie monster? My favourite movie monster, like old movies, is definitely Frankenstein. Don't know why, I've just, I love the film, I love the book, and I've always had a connection with Frankenstein, um, and I just think he's really cute. Um, newer films, um, not so much a monster, but I absolutely love um, Mary Shaw, um, who is from Dead Silence. I absolutely love that film. If you haven't watched it, go watch it because it's just brilliant. Just be warned, there is puppetry and puppets and things in it and dolls. Um, I think she's really cool. Um, I tried to do a makeup once, absolutely failed. Um, I do also love The Babadook. I met, uh, some of you may have seen it if you're really into horror films. Someone cosplayed as The Babadook and it is a wicked cosplay. It went absolutely crazy online. Um, and I was really fortunate to actually see the first year that he cosplayed as it. Um, and met him and it was just, it was just so cool. And he's creepy and I love his eyes and... Yeah, it's just the kid in that film that drives me absolutely insane. I just want to crawl in the telly and punch him. Favourite scene or set piece from a movie? Um, my favourite set that I can think of on the spot um, is probably Trick or Treat. Um, and it's when all the kids are sitting on the American yellow school bus creepy as shit just as Negan says from The Walking Dead um, and then it goes into the lake and 
you see the kids go down to that part where the bus is um, and where all these children died. Um, I just think it's really creepy and eerie and I love that kind of the fog and that's a really good film as well. Um, and just it's dark you've got the little pumpkins um, and it's just really creepy I, I like the eeriness to it um, and I also do love like cabins and scenes that are in woodlands I just they appeal to me a lot I nature at its finest if you could stay in one horror movie mansion or location where would that be and why some examples, Camp Crystal Lake, the Overlook Hotel, the Sawyer Family Home, etc. I would stay in the Amateurville Horror House because the story behind it, it's based on true events. Um, I'm willing to stay anywhere spooky. Um, definitely the Amateurville Horror House. I loved that film, um, especially the remake. And I know people hate remakes, but I, I love it. And I would definitely stay there. And I'd probably stay in the Salem Witch Trials house as well, of course. Um, which you can visit in Salem. And hopefully one day, one day, I can dream. Have you got any horror crushes? An actor or a character or whatever? You nasty. Um, it, it's not a horror film, but... I absolutely love Frank and Furter from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> no idea what, what is going on there, but Tim Curry, you look divine in that corset. Um, I'm not... I... No, there is someone. You could... I suppose it's a horror. It's vampires and lichens, so... Um, I love Victor from Underworld. I, I do have a crush on him actually, yes. Bill Nye in Underworld is... And then you've got like your other vampire films. I, I love uh, Tom Cruise as Lestat, like that's my man. Um, and David from The Lost Boys. So it's kind of like you, you're, you expect to probably fancy them because they are pretty, pretty tasty looking. Um, but at the top of my head, I can't, can't think of anyone other than Victor, Bill Nye. Best horror movie to watch on Halloween? Well, obviously you've got the traditional Halloween. Um, my personal favourite is House of a Thousand Corpse. I really enjoy Rob Zombie's movies. Um, and it's a real shame about... The late Sid Haig I was actually quite upset and I have him right on my bed with me bless him I might only watch one horror film on Halloween I normally watch all like the kids films like Am's Family um, and Halloween Town are there any horror movies you can't watch refuse to watch because they disgust you so much so I have the unfortunate memories of watching The Human Centipede. I will not watch any of the others. If I'm correct, I'm pretty sure one of them got banned. I'm not sure whether it's been unbanned or not, but I will not watch them. Um, there is another film that my friend really, really wants me to watch and I have refused and I will continue to refuse. If you've watched it, let me know in the comments. It's called Feed. Now, from the cover I've looked at and I watched a little bit of the trailer and just the name in itself, that sort of shit creeps me out and I can't watch it. And apparently it's amazing and it's got an amazing twist in it. Um, but I, I just can't bring myself to watch that. Yeah, I suppose they say don't judge a book by its cover, but I just can't. Maybe maybe one day, maybe when I've had a little bit of a drink, I'm not sure, but I just, I can't watch it. I really can't. What is your guilty pleasure horror movie? So 
I am the sort of person that will put a horror film on, or any film on, and if it doesn't draw me in within the first five to ten minutes, sometimes even three minutes, I turn it off. So a lot of, and well, most of the horror films that I like and love, mostly everyone else does. Um, so I can't really answer that question because I'm not sure what what's a bit... So I'm just going to tell you my favourite horror movies. Ginger Snaps. Trick or Treat. Dracula. Three for five pounds. House of a Thousand Corpse. Pan's Labyrinth. And this one is just an extra bonus. And it's not horror, but it's a B-movie. And it is, wrong way, Elvira. They are my favourite horror films. If you have enjoyed the video, please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you already are, thank you so, so much. Um, I've got a couple of questions I want to ask before I do leave. Um, I've had a few people asking me about makeup tutorials and on my channel I originally wanted to do just makeup um, but there are so many brilliant artists on YouTube as well as YouTubers but I thought I'd try my luck and here I am. And I've had a few requests asking about makeup. As you are subscribed to me, I want to know whether you want to see that sort of thing on my channel. I have done some makeup videos, um, mainly um, day makeup, really. Um, I did do a skeleton makeup. Um, but yeah, I just I want to know what you want to see on my channel. Because so far, it's been fashion hauls, tattoos and piercings and a bit of makeup. Um, so yeah, if you can let me know, that would be greatly appreciated. Maybe I can do a community post or something. But other than that, I will see you all very, very soon. And don't forget to stay spooky. Bye.